What's up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another unboxing video in quite a few months. On front of me is a NG Models Air Greenland A330-200. Now, the reason why I got this model wasn't for any model airport, because quite frankly, I have stopped pursuing building Newark Liberty International Airport, Prague, or any other model airport. From now on, I'm just going to be collecting model airplanes that have sentimental value to me, or ones that just look nice. So, um, yeah, there you go. So this is the first model that I haven't bought for a model airport in quite a long time, uh, excluding the uh, CSA Czech Airlines one unboxing that I did uh, way back last summer. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the box. At one's first look at this box, you may notice two main colors. These are the colors of red or orangish and white. This is because this represents the colors of the Greenlandic flag and Air Greenland heavily features this in their branding. Now you might be asking what are these white dots that you see on the NG models box and on the actual clip art of the aircraft itself. What these white dots represent are the various routes that Air Greenland serves from the center dot, in this case this being Air Greenland's major Kangalusarak or nuke hubs. Now besides that, this is a pretty standard NG models box. Now this is a new mold from NG models. I have the A330-300, specifically the Lufthansa A330-300, and this is the Air Greenland uh, A330-200. So this is actually a new mold from NG models for me. So here is the NG models collector's rewards card. And yeah, let's finally take a look at this model. Beginning at the front of the aircraft, we have the cockpit windows, L1 door, forward landing gear, and behind the L1 door, this little batch of windows, I believe is the business class or premium economy class cabin. And then we have a little Greenlandic flag, name of the aircraft, which I believe was NARSAC and the words Airbus 330-200 to designate the type of aircraft. And below that, we have the Air Greenland branding and then the L2 door. Here you have an antenna and I believe the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. And then behind the L2 door, we have the wings and engines. And on the engines, we have the branding of Air Greenland, uh, which states obviously the words Air Greenland and then their little logo. And actually on the wings, it also states Air Greenland on the outside. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Here we go. It says Air Greenland on the outside as well as on the inside of the wings. And taking a look further down the aircraft, we have the L3 door, another two antennas. And then getting to the back of the aircraft, we have uh, the Greenlandic flag once again, the type of aircraft once again, and the registration of the plane, which is Oscar Yankee Golf Romeo November. Then we have the L4 door and the tail of the A330. Taking a look at the bottom of the aircraft, there really is nothing special. You just have this antenna over here, and on the right wing, you have the registration of the aircraft. As of filming this, Air Greenland have retired this A330-200. The only route that it operated was their Kangalusarark to Copenhagen one, which took around four and a half hours. Currently, the only wide body in Air Greenland's fleet is actually quite a rare one, since this A330-200 has been replaced with an A330-800neo that has recently been delivered from Airbus. The registration of the brand new A330-800 for Air Greenland is Oscar Yankee Golf Kilo November and has been with the airline since I believe early to late March. According to Air Greenland, having an aircraft like the A330-800neo compared to the A330-200 will allow the airline more capacity on its Copenhagen to Kangalusarak route, allowing for more tourism, and eventually the airline also plans to start new routes using the aircraft to destinations such as Montreal, Toronto, and New York. With that being said, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this one and you want to see more content like this, please feel free to comment down below and say it. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram at Garden State Aviation and check out my Air Explorer articles at airexplorer.com. Anyway, I would like to thank you for watching once again and I'll see you in the next vid.